and uh, welcome back. Hello, world. <laughs> it's uh, Lee coming to you from El Grande Christmas party on the Sunshine Coast to wrap up Sunshine Coast Startup Week. It's been a huge week. And I'm here with Mark McVeigh of Moto DNA. How are you, Mark? I'm very well, mate. How are you? I'm a bit weary, to be honest. A bit weary. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. Need a beer. <laughs> I don't drink, so okay. so um, maybe a soft drink, maybe a diet cake or something. So, Mark, Moto DNA, tell us about that. Yeah, basically, Moto DNA. It started out as a motorcycle academy, and it's uh, my background's uh, originally uh, riding on the road and um, back in in Ireland. And um, you know, it was a wee bit uh, risky in those days, and I had a good mate of mine that was killed. So um, I decided to uh, go uh, racing motorbikes instead, which was probably a good idea. And they ended up doing pretty well, uh, representing Ireland. And uh, I'm an engineer as well, so I ended up going into uh, MotoGP then as an engineer. So that sort of um, mix of, of uh, riding skill and engineering then is what we put into our, our school. Right. So how was it uh, working as an engineer in, in the MotoGP? That, was, that would have been... Yeah, listen, it was awesome. I uh, initially started as a, as a mechanic, uh, working in the, and this was in the 90s. And then I, uh, when I came to Australia, I worked in uh, supercars here instead. Right. Yeah, for a while, and then I went back and then, then MotoGP as a consultant before starting the school. So what, um, what team were you with in MotoGP? Um, well, at the start in the 90s, we were with private uh, teams in the 500 Grand Prix. Um, but then when I went back uh, more recently as a consultant, I worked for Yamaha and Ducati and Suzuki factory uh, factories direct, not for the teams, but for the factories. Yeah. So what does Moto DNA do? Is it a? Yeah. yeah so uh, it's basically it, uh, it's a school, so a motorcycle training academy, and we've been going about uh, five years now, three years full time, and uh, we really sort of see the need for to bring a rider's skill level up. So if you look about, if you really understand why riders crash, almost 50% of crashes are single vehicle accidents. So the riders crashed all by themselves. There's been no one, yeah, nobody else involved. So yeah, what we've done, what we, we've figured out, okay, well, it's a skills-based issue. The rider um, doesn't understand the grip that's available from their bike. So when a small problem happens, like it uh, might be a bit of gravel on the road or a car pulls out, they overreact to the situation. So we train them up in the skills. So the reason we're uh, involved with the startup scene is we're sort of pivoting the school into some data-driven technology that's uh, really sort of we can scale, uh, I guess, the secret sauce of the school, um, uh, not just within Australia, but globally. That's our plan. So how does, how does the tech work? How is that going to work? Okay, so if you imagine um, it's a, a, a data logger, so basically what that is, is it like an inertia measurement unit, and it can measure what's happening with the bike, so how quickly it accelerates, how quickly it turns, and, and uh, how far it leans over, those type of things. So if you get a range of riders, like we train thousands of motorbike riders a year, and uh, each of those riders, um, even though they do the same thing, they twist the throttle, they steer the bike, uh, uh, they look, that's a really important one where they're looking, but they all do it in different ways. So we can measure the rider's skills from you know the learner, which is sort of basically near zero, to riders that are highly skilled, and we scale them up, uh, from zero to 100 on the different elements of the riding. And then what we can do is then, as a rider, say a rider's at a level two, you know, with his skill, or his or her skill, and we want to get him up a level, we can actually show them what the level three and four riders are doing, so that they come up in a safe and structured way. And at the minute, it's uh, we've got an app, we've got a, a, a partnership with Bosch, um, the, the Bosch Global Engineering Business, and um, we're using their system and developing the algorithms that are here in Queensland at the minute. Fantastic. And so Moto DNA is based on the Sunshine Coast. Where about are you based? Here in Maroochydore? Yeah, so I, I live on the Sunshine Coast, but we run uh, events all over Australia, pretty much along the East Coast. So uh, having the airport here is a really fantastic thing for me. I'll sort of be back on the coast for a week. And we can, a lot of our team work remotely as well. Some of the guys are based on the coast. And we've got our general manager here on our uh, digital marketing guys. And then some of our engineering team are in Melbourne and Sydney and Brisbane. So there's a lot of travel, but uh, to be able to live on the coast, really important. You know, lived all over the world and I know what a cool place it is here. So I want to I mean, it's a, it is an amazing place. And what struck me this week is how many people base themselves here for the lifestyle. Yeah. 
but that doesn't mean that they're just sitting back in hammocks. I mean, they're working hard, they're building businesses that are global businesses, um, but they base themselves here and then they commute and fly in and out. You've got an international airport coming into Maroochydore now. Um, it's an hour and a half, what, an hour and a half to Brisbane? Yeah, roughly. We are down there today and it was, yeah, we're a little bit busy with the traffic, but yeah, it took about 90 minutes, so it's not too bad. And um, yeah, there's a lot of amazing people actually live on the coast quietly and um, it's really um, you know we haven't really been making a big noise about what we've been doing but still we've managed to attract some uh, really amazing people to join our team and so you mentioned they, they work remotely so we're seeing more and more and more of this and it's accelerating the statistics are saying that by I think 2030 there's going to be about 1.4 billion people worldwide consider themselves digital nomads yeah. and that they're working remotely where are some of your people based that work remotely um, we, well, we've got guys on the coast, and um, and if we're running events in Sydney or Melbourne, you know they're working remotely then for us. And then we've got guys in Brisbane and guys in uh, in Melbourne as well. And then because we have partnered with uh, Bosch, then we have access to their uh, uh, global engineering resources like machine learning, uh, which is based in Germany. And uh, some of the guys helping us with the algorithms are in Japan. So yeah, it's it's, it's, it's amazing business. So. Um, Thanks for talking with us tonight. <laughs> Hello, Anne. Uh, thanks for talking with us, Mark. All the best with Moto yeah, DNA. No and if people want to contact you or find out more about riding school and the tech that you're working on, how can they get in touch with you? Yeah, so our website's Moto DNA. So M O T O D N A dot com dot au. Just pop on there, and you can see all our venues and events and training information. And do you have a Facebook page? Or yeah, yeah. we're on there, Moto DNA, just on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, okay. cool. Thanks so much, Lee. Oh, all right, thanks, Mark. Moto DNA, go and check them out. It sounds like interesting stuff. Thanks, Mark. Cool. Thanks, Cheers. Lee.